so we've just come out of the York Dungeon and I'm here with Ben once again, the market manager of York Dungeon. Ben, it's lovely to see you again. Yeah, lovely to see you as well. Can't Thank believe it's been in. a year since we were last here talking about the Castle of the Witch on the opening day. Can't yeah. believe it's been a year. It's flown by, absolutely flown by. There's been that much going on. We've got so much going on this year as well. Absolutely, and I can't wait to find out more. Um, so just talking about the War of the Roses then, what sort of uh, led to lead to the decision to bring in the War of the Roses in the Golden yeah. Fleece scene? Well, it's it's an iconic part of history, and you know one of the primary focuses of the conflict was here in York, was with House of York and the House of Lancaster, and we decided that we wanted to look for a story outside of York. In every story that we've got so far, they're all within the city. We wanted to branch out a little bit, and the story of the Battle of Towton really struck us as something that was significant, was incredibly important, was very gory and violent, which takes all of us us. <laughs> but also is not necessarily as well known. Yeah. And that's one thing that we like to do, is we like to sometimes talk about some of the stories that aren't as well known. They're putting another piece of machinery through its paces. It's preparing the surface for this year's skating extravaganza. I like the beat coming in already. The woman in charge is the owner's elder daughter, Amanda Thompson. <laughs> All the little asterisks with the OBE. I love it, I love it. Tell the look. <laughs> this is going on my summer playlist, by the way. This is going on my summer playlist. <laughs> I could beat to this, you know. The look of confusion. <laughs> I love the little Snoop Dogg with the hands thing. Apart from James Coppinger, and to be fair, that's something I wanted to discuss your thoughts on. I mean, James Coppinger, it's his last season at Rovers. Uh, he's played at the club for 13, 14, 15 years, uh, and he's been at the club for so long. I mean, you know, this is his last season. If we do get promoted, it'll end on a high. I mean, 14 years at one club is very unheard of in the modern day of football. Yeah, totally unheard of. <laughs> I mean, you, um, you don't really get any players. Well, especially up in the Premier League nowadays, that will stay at one club for that long. Um, the turnover of players is just so much. So um, I can't think of any player. Um, maybe I don't think who's a, our club is. I can't think of any player that's been there. They, we had Martinez, Emmy Martinez, who who left the other day. Um, actually, for Villa, he'd been there for just over ten years, and I think Bellerin. Has been there for about either I think it's about nine years. He's been there quite a long time. But most players nowadays, you know, the way transfers are and stuff like that, and the way football clubs operate. I mean, you don't really get you know as soon as you start underperforming at the Premier League level, they'll bring someone else in to replace you. That's how it is. It's like a dog eat dog sort of thing. So um, you don't really see players last that long. I think um, thinking. With other clubs, um, maybe what's his name at West Ham? Well, he's been there for ages. Mark Noble. Been, Mark Noble, yeah, he's been there since he's a kid, so he's probably been there about that length of time or longer. Mm. But yeah, but most players, that loyalty is no longer there. Not just from the players, but from the clubs either. I've just sort of done something I never thought I'd do. Now, obviously, this is you know, very early in my YouTube career, so this is just one of many milestones that you guys have been wishing on me, you know, over the past few weeks. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for for giving me so much praise on the channel over live streams or anything like that. Just you guys have always given me praise. But in terms of getting 
interviewed and getting recognised back, that's come very rare at the minute, but we did it. We did it today. Now, you probably see the title of this video, you're probably thinking, what have you done? Well, if you've seen my community page and my whole Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you'll know what's going on. Basically, I was interviewed this morning at, B well, not at, but for BBC Radio Sheffield. So, I want to tell you guys the whole story, the entire story, and nothing but the story. So, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos. I've got a brand new Close But Not Forgotten video coming today that I pre-recorded from yesterday about Ranger County at Thorpe Park. That is coming today. Uh, big shout out to Attraction Swirl for that video. And I gave you a shout out in that video as well. Uh, but for now, guys... Let me take you through exactly what went on today. So, let me take you from the beginning. I woke up today around about 6, 6 a.m., 5.30, 6 a.m., around about that time. So, I knew my interview was 7.50 a.m. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, it's by the end of today, and <laughs> you can probably tell it, I am shattered. I'm trying to give as much energy as I can, but I am absolutely shattered today. <sighs> I can't believe I'm saying this. We've just hit half a million views. Um, <laughs> I, I, wow. <laughs> I didn't expect this. This is a channel update video, so you'll find this in the channel update playlist. Um, as well as the milestones playlist, of course. Wow. <laughs> wow, this is, I, 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 I'm actually speechless. I, I'm, I'm actually speechless. We've hit half a million views. Now, you know, I will be pre-recording some videos over this weekend hopefully to celebrate these milestones the half a million views potentially 2,000 subscribers soon as well I'm gonna react to some of my older videos you know is it cringy is it half decent because <laughs> it's been two years since the first few videos on the channel uh, so you know it's gonna be very interesting to film my reactions from that but Oh my god, half a million, half a million views across all those videos. And, you know, you guys know I'm consistent. There's a couple of times where, there's a few times where I've missed the odd couple of days or the odd day of a video, uh, with good reason. And, you know, obviously, you know, it was this year we had that full week off, you know, just while I got the, the filming situation sorted. Because uh, I was on the phone and then uh, I had to get the new camcorder and we took about a whole week for a new video to come out. We started planking out those uploads uh, like a pirate on the plank. And, you know, <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually saying it. Half a million views. I'm, I did not think to hit this milestone at all. Absolutely no way. 